It's that time again, my friends. Another platform fighter has entered the arena. Warner Brothers Multiverses. I'll be giving my reaction, thoughts, and analysis on what videos we do have on the game so far, and then we're gonna take a look at what news does exist for the game at this point. So without further ado, let's go take a look. All right, the first video we're gonna look at is gonna be the announcement trailer. Now I know many of you have probably seen this at this point. If not, I'll link it down in the description below. Go ahead and take a look at it. I'm gonna play it and I just wanna take a little bit of a deep dive into the certain things that I'm seeing. Multiverses emphasizes teamwork and social play with an ever expanding diversity. See, aspect. I mean, right away, there's such, there's some interesting mechanics you can tell that are actually going on in these gameplay clips. Like, so they obviously emphasize team play. That's gonna be a big piece. And I, I wanna look into that as much as I can. But you can even see here, these two characters are gonna switch. Like there's some sort of link between them, right? There's like this electric looking line. And all of a sudden they're gonna they're gonna flip right they rotate sides so that that must be like one of their abilities i don't know but it'll be interesting to know if that's like a universal mechanic that like you and your teammate if you do some input or something you can swap places or maybe that's a mechanic built into some of the characters that allow you to swap oh man i'm i'm very excited about this uh, cast of characters <laughs> this is our take on the competitive platform fighter even stuff like this, like how smooth the animations look, are very promising. Like the landing animation, the the, the lighting, it, it looks really smooth. Uh, which I think the platform fighter community is a little bit bitter at the moment because of the lack of smoothness from Nick All Star Brawl. Um, so I, I, it's it's interesting to see how polished this looks in comparison. Every character has unique moves that focus on team play. Yeah, see, that's kind of what we were talking about. Every character has unique moves that focus on team play. So what we were looking at earlier was probably someone's kit. And, I, and every character must have something that either supports, enhances, or works with their teammate, which is why this game is so, you know, 2v2 you know, team-based. You're under my protection! We built the game from the ground. It's like this too. So there's some sort of like shield that was cast over your ally. Well, wow, he's floating. I mean, it, it's so interesting. I'm not gonna go into like a move set breakdown here, but it's really fun to see this added mechanic because team play is just not a mechanic through really any platform fighter. That's not really a thing. And for those of us who like to play solo, don't worry, we support that too. A wolf of House Stark is not afraid. See, what I'm curious of here is playing solo. What, <laughs> also uh, Finn down here, that's funny. Uh, like, what, what is, does playing solo mean that you choose two people for your team? Like, two characters that you battle with and once you lose a stock on one, it swaps to the other? Doesn't seem like there's a lot of stats here like there are on typical end screens, which is a bit of a bummer. Maybe they'll change that, but I mean, just KO count and then damage dealt. It's cool. I'd like to see more stats, but, uh, it's a good start. That's why iconic voice talent powers many of our characters. By Kevin Con Ooh. <laughs> At Nickelodeon All Star Brawl next time, bro. Calling out the voice acting within a minute and a half of the video. Or he has Batman. I am Batman. In fact. Honestly, though, it's going to be really sick. <laughs> That's going to be super, super cool. Bet you didn't know about my dancing I love Jake. To Arya Stark. Not today. Two. Okay. What? What was that move right there? To Arya Stark. She like latches her sword or something onto Batman and then activates some sort of like teleport to go to her sword. Today. Oh, it's so sick. I love these in this animation style. Like this, this like slash, how it's just like this big arc. Feels like a really nice balance of both, obviously three dimensional I and mean, this game looks beautiful, but having that really cartoony flavor to it that I think like all that extra color and whatnot just makes it really fun. I'm gonna eat so many Scooby Snacks. <laughs> I'm gonna eat so many Scooby Snacks. Oh, well, here we go. This is what I wanted. This is what I'm really interested in here. I'm gonna move myself out of the way for this one. We're gonna we're gonna sit right here. So you can see up here, there's like an avatar with what looks like a level over it. So that may be like level of your battle pass, level of your account. This looks like maybe a leaderboard. So maybe ranked modes or. You know, like in Smash, there's GSP, right? Maybe this shows your your score in, in a ranked mode. 
This box I'm assuming is like cosmetics or loot boxes or maybe character overview. We can change out gear. Uh, this looks like a club or like a clan symbol. My guess is you, you can be a part of clubs or clans or whatever they're going to call it because this is a very team oriented game which would be really cool i think that'd be super fun especially if there's perks for doing something like that shop no surprise um, there's some news around this as well that we're going to go over a bit later and then settings looks like there's two forms of currency down here at least i'm assuming it's two forms of currency we know that there is going to be a form of currency or at least things in the game that you can buy with real money and then i'm i'm nearly certain that there's also an in-game currency that you just get from playing the game so I bet these coins are in game and these are probably like, you know, real money currency. That's my guess. So again, game mode 2v2. So there's must be drop down and options there for different types of game modes, which is good. Ring outs. I don't know what that means, except maybe that's stocks. Time, pretty standard. So this is interesting. So the map rotation. So you can select maps in your rotation, which I love. So this looks like a really easy way to decide uh, you know, if you want to play on competitive maps, all maps, casual, whatever. See, there's there's a lot of like symbols here that I don't understand. So team one, I don't know what the crown means. Probably like they won the last match, maybe. Um, their username. I don't know what this swap means. Oh, I bet, I bet this person can't see my jet is hosting a lobby because there's a boot next to these two. Like you could kick them out of your lobby, maybe. And then this rotate may swap you and the other player from being like the leader of the lobby. It must be swapping, able to swap people around so you can rotate teams. All right, Diblin, go back to your corner. Go sit up here. What's important? Who you'll play with on what platform you want. Friendship power! That also means guilds and more social features. Get ready to challenge other guilds with yours and see who's really ready for a fight. We'll have leaderboards and other ways to prove who's the best. Okay, so yeah, guilds and leaderboards, that's kind of what we were talking about. I'm curious to see what they do around that, especially with leaderboards, like, is there a ranking system? Is the ranking system based on kind of an ambiguous number, like we have with Smash and NASB, or is it going to be, you know, like bronze, silver, gold, diamond, that kind of thing? Uh, I'm curious how they handle leaderboards and ranking systems in this game. Remember the last time you DC'd from a match? What about lag affecting your inputs? Bro, all the time. I, fa I face that all the time. Multiverse's goal is best in class online. We're investing a lot into making the most responsive gameplay and netcode. Thank you. In addition to dedicated servers from day one. Oh, I could kiss your face. Thank you. Here we go, here we go, here we go. See this, oh, this, this excites me. This excites me because this is like really new. Right? We don't have a platform fighter that has these kinds of, you know, character manipulations at all. Expert, I'm assuming this is talking about the difficulty of the character. We obviously have roles, so there's assassin. I know we've seen some already, but there's probably like assassin, you know, tank, support, ranged, that kind of thing. This is one I haven't seen talked about too much. This whole horizontal thing, like what the heck does that mean? Is that like your, your primary movement is horizontally based as opposed to maybe someone who jumps more and it's vertical i don't know variants so obviously there's going to be like a skin selection we know that the fact that skins are like a highlight in this game <clears throat> emotes i love this now we can be toxic online even more as many of you know with smash you can't you can't taunt online but not only will this game probably allow taunting but you're going to be able to have four four unique taunts to be able to really tilt your enemies or teammates. This looks like things are supposed to sit in there, almost like perks, right? Like I give a primary perk and then maybe like three sub perks. Okay, Moose. Uh, yeah, that's a that's Moose tail right there. Moose, I'm recording right now. You can't be here. It's like you get gold. So as we were talking about where it's probably this currency, right? And it looks like each character has their own battle pass if you will but it'd be neat if like every character had you know 10 levels of unlockable things it must be they must be per character i can't imagine it would just be a single character so unlockable emote whatever this bread is <laughs> did i get your attention listen up friends i would really love if you liked and subscribed just scroll down really quick and just do it really quick okay you, oh, you did it. okay thank you so much okay Back, back to the video. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm so smart. See, there's that there's that symbol again. So these correlate. You choose a unique, an offense, a defense, and a utility that, that go in these slots. This is so interesting because, like, how do you... 
how, how are they gonna balance this? It looks like there's so much here. Uniques, I'm, I'm assuming this adjusts certain abilities that you have, right? And then offense, defense, utility. So I'm not gonna go through all these, but you can tell, you know, there's like this punch one that maybe increases damage. Uh, increases knockback from projectiles or something, knockback from physical attacks, utility, so maybe like jump, height, speed, falling speed, dashing. See, oh man, I don't want to get too excited because we all know far too well at this point what it feels like for our expectations to be let down. <laughs> It's so fun to me to, to think that like, not only can you main a character, but you can optimize that character to fit your playstyle. Oh dude, this is so cool. The skins are gonna be so cool. Missions. So this must be general missions. So yeah, there's a battle pass for sure. So it looks like you get points. You can reroll your challenges or your missions. It looks like, so you have skins. Like we know that skins are gonna be purchasable with real currency and maybe in-game currency. Looks like per character you can adjust those perks and then maybe go to like an overview screen. So whether you want to freeze all your foes at once or compete in esports, you'll have a home here. See, that's interesting. They're making the call out too of whether you're casual or esports oriented. I'm very curious to see the esports side of this. I feel like for games to be successful in esports, the parent company that owns these franchises uh, needs to invest a good amount of money into the game. You know, creating tournaments that have big prize pools, actually setting up events, uh, which really, I feel like the only platform fighter that's done that well is Brawlhalla, from what I can tell. Let's once for all. See, that was interesting. So there was a voice line, you know, Batman versus Superman. I wonder if voice lines will be dynamic based on the matchup, because that could be really cool. I love, I love this blast animation when they when they get to, you know knocked off the arena and, and die. I really hope that this game takes the like Rocket League approach and where you can have like purchasable, you know, death animations where you know instead of that's all folks, it, maybe it's blowing up with confetti. Brawlhalla actually does that too, and they do a good job at it. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited. <laughs> I I love platform fighters. I really enjoy this genre. So anyone who's trying to, you know, take their piece of the pie here, I'm all for it. All right. Uh, this next video is a short 30 second clip that they uploaded that I think just has like a bunch of gameplay clips from their tech test. The tech test is basically this, this like alpha or beta version of the game that some people got access to, to play. And these are just clips that came out of that. Okay. That was so sick. First of all, I'm bummed that there's no HUD or anything on the screen. Like we can't see percents like damage output, right? But uh, the combo potential here is pretty obvious. And we've seen from Arya Stark earlier that it seems like she has really good chase tools. So this is interesting. I want to watch this again. Whoa, 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 wait, did she like switch places with Batman in the middle of that? What is this? What is this? There's two Bat men <laughs> i wonder if Arya stark has the ability to like take her opponent's abilities for a second because she's like comboing becomes batman uses what appears to be a batman move and then goes back to being Arya. okay we're gonna watch that one more time batman yeah she like throws a batarang at him i don't know dude all i know is that was freaking sick what? Bugs Bunny like threw a safe or something? It pushed his teammate and then fell down and spiked both Batman and Superman. I don't know, dude. That one's that one's too much for me to understand what was going on. Looked cool though. Oh, the grapple. See, do you see, do you see uh, Batman's movement right there? So one, he's got a grapple, which is really, really cool. Uh, his movement seems really cool, but then again, all of their characters' movement in this game seems like very... They all seem very mobile. Like, they have a lot of movement tech to jump around and, and, and combo continue. Look at that chase. The grapple in, there's like an up air, chasing up air. Ooh, did you see the Batman spike right there? Watch this, dude. Batman does like a front flip and spikes bugs right off the stage. Skadoosh! <laughs> okay, command grab. I saw this clip. 
That looked like two different command grabs from Superman. All right, so side special, command grab, up special, command grab to a down throw. That seems so busted. What the heck? Okay, this, is this like a taunt? Like, does Bugs Bunny spawn a missile and you can just f literally flex on your opponents? <laughs> the salt in this game is going to be so real. Oh, man. So that's all really interesting. Let's not get our hopes up too high. Let's wait to see more content, obviously. But I think we can undoubtedly commend the fact that their team is trying to create a unique experience for this platform fighter that totally differentiates itself from, you know, Smash Bros, NASB, Brawlhalla, Rivals of Either, right? It, it, this feels totally unique. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad to see that they're, they're taking advantage of current trends in their game to create something fresh and new. We just have to be patient and see what comes up next. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to touch on, this will be pretty brief, but I went through and tried to find news on this game. There was like no news around this game. But what I did do and what I would actually encourage you all to do if you have as much interest as I do in this new game is you can follow some other developers. One in particular responds to a lot of tweets and gives hints at future content. So I wanna go over some of these. I'll show the tweets on screen so that you can check out what it is I'm taking a look at. Is there going to be a character showcase for multiverses for all the characters' movesets? I'm still hoping that this game will come to Switch. Uh, so yes, we're planning doing some character showcases. We are a smaller team, so we had to make some hard decisions about where to use our resources, but I'm hoping we uh, eventually able to bring it to the Switch. So I, I think showcases are exciting. Obviously we can see likely more deep dives of characters before the game's release, which will help us definitely get more understanding about this game. And then it seems like the Switch is kind of on their radar, but not a priority. I'm honestly super shocked by this, considering the fact that Smash is on Switch, but maybe that's why. Like maybe Smash just has such a tight hold on the Switch platform that they're wanting to maybe disrupt the platform fighter industry on the other consoles first. So this is a question about DLCs and if they're gonna be paid or if you can just get them by playing. So I thought this was good. He says, you'll, you'll be able to get characters just by playing. So I, I would assume this means that all characters, both whatever characters the game releases with and future DLCs, you won't actually have to pay for new characters like you do with Smash. Uh, you'll just be able to play the game and likely unlock them in some way. So I think this person was trying to ask, you know, are we going to get new characters with every battle pass? Um, is there a max amount of characters planned? And Tony says, I think our approach for the foreseeable future is we'll add as many characters as quickly as our dev team possibly can, with the limit being that each character must feel unique and authentic to their source. That's kind of cool, right? I mean, they're, they're literally just trying to give us content quickly. I think I'm hesitant to hear quickly because I'm like, ah, let's, you know, don't rush it. Uh, so, so we'll see. But it's cool to know that they want to deliver, you know, added value to us as the players after the game's release. I think this is a question that a lot of people uh, will ask about. And I had brought this up as a point of failure for NASB, but, you know, will the game have a story mode? And they just said, we're not prepared to talk about this yet. The fact that they're not saying no. I think insinuates that it's at a minimum a topic on the table. The fact that they don't have an answer is a little bit dis disheartening because it's like, ah oh, man, if there's going to be a story mode, like it should be done by now. If this game is coming out this year, I feel like that should be something that's done. But maybe they're not allowed to talk about it because it is done. They just haven't announced it yet. Who knows? Uh, I do hope they have a story mode, even though I don't think I'll play it. Story modes just help bring more people into the game. This one I thought was interesting. Someone had asked what their influence was for multiverses. You know, what's their inspiration? And Tony responds, that's an interesting question. I'm a combat designer because of the Street Fighter, because of Street Fighter and Guilty Gear. I basically play and go deep on most fighting games though. Melee was certainly important. It's interesting. It, both of those types of games are interesting, right? Because Street Fighter and Guilty Gear are very input based. You know, you're, you're not just clicking side B, side A. Uh, you know, those games are very input where you're doing half circle on your analog stick along with A and then X or whatever, right? Or I'm curious if multiverses will have inputs like that or if it'll be more traditional like Super Smash Bros. Brawlhalla where it's uh, simplistically input, you know, side A, side B, up Y, whatever, right? Um, but I think this leaves that open to a bit of a discussion, so we'll see what actually happens here. I had actually brought this up earlier when we were watching the video, but someone asked if multiverses will have a tag team mechanic. Tag team really just means where, you know, maybe I, in a 1v1, have my one character. I, maybe I have Jake and Finn in my roster, and I could switch between the two either at any given point or maybe at a specific requirement. You can switch characters in the middle of the game. 
So Tony responds that we're focused on 2v2, but we could make a tag team mode. So there, there isn't a tag team mode. Uh, I, I wouldn't imagine that'll be something done in 1v1. And if 1v1s are like I'm thinking now, you choose the characters you want to play in a match. They each have one stock. When the stock is taken, it moves on to the next character. Someone asked, are skins going to be viable? You know, what, do we, what can we use real world money on? Tony says, uh, cosmetics, of which we have some really awesome stuff, exciting to hear that the devs are excited, uh, are unlockable through real currency. Anything that affects gameplay can be earned just by playing. So, huge, because you know what that means? Not pay to win. Anything that affects gameplay can be earned just by playing. That means it's not a pay to win game. That's such a good decision. So the fact that cosmetics are paywall locked, but gameplay mechanics perks are just, you know, gameplay time locked, it's great great news that is that is all of the multiverses content that exists right now <laughs> there is really not a lot but yeah, aside from that 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 is really it there's not a lot of news around this game i would follow these devs and the multiverses account on twitter if i were you it seems like they post little little tidbits here and there that are really helpful for people like us to keep up with the content as always if you haven't subscribed please do so and you can keep up to date with all my videos around smash platform fighters all the fun things if you'd like some more dribbling dibbling content check out the links below you can check out my live stream I'm live streaming three times a week on Twitch. I've also got a TikTok where I post some of my favorite clips from live streaming. But with that said, thank you guys for watching. You know I love all of you. I'll talk to you next time. Peace. I, I wondered at first if, if uh, Ben and Jerry were like some sort of... Ben and Jerry... Yikes, dude.